Hi, welcome to interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume using the following link. In this video, I'm going to explain you top 10 design pattern interview questions. Very, very important if you're a senior Java developer or if you're, if you're a senior developer. Design patterns are very, very important in the senior position. So in this video, I'm going to give you just a, a guidance where you can start off and continue continue your preparation for your interview so this video is not the complete one but this is this will help you to start your uh, design pattern interview preparation okay so let's see the questions what is design pattern explain its advantages design pattern is nothing but a pattern where you can use it in your application whenever you are developing your whenever you're writing your code in a structured in a proper way okay design pattern helps you let's see the definition a design pattern systematically names motivates and explains a general design that addresses a recurring design problem in object oriented systems it describes the problem the solution when to apply the solution and its consequences it also gives implementation hints and examples I want to give you an example here say you have a problem in your application for example whenever a notification comes to your uh, to your application from a different application from a third party application you get a notification on getting the notification around you have, you have to do three different tasks so how do you handle it so you don't have to design for this in from the scratch there is already a pattern existing there is observer pattern pattern so you have to subscribe to that uh, maybe I'll show you that picture maybe you can understand in a better way see uh, so I told you I gave you a pa problem so whenever a notification comes to your application okay you you are you have to do three three different tasks at the same time so you can have three different objects which is subscribed to this object so whenever notification comes this it just notifies your object and you can continue working on your task so this is one of one type of problem so you might have one more problem like uh, where do I create the objects I don't want to create objects in all the class files for example new I don't want to new operator I don't want to use in every class file I want to separate it separation of concerns okay like that so if you have a lot of problems like this there are already as far as I know 400 more than 400 design patterns available and out of that there are few very very important design patterns available and available and you should be aware of that okay so design patterns nothing but already solved problem are documented you can just take it out and if you have the same problem in your application you can use those design patterns in your application and start coding for that okay so what are the different types of design patterns there are three basic classification of design patterns creational structural and behavior what are the different types of design creation design patterns abstract factory builder factory prototype singleton singleton you where uh, singleton pattern is like where you have only one instance for a uh, for that particular class always always okay entire application will have only one instance okay and factory we, when you whenever you ask for some object it will create the object and give it to you you might ask oh, I can do it myself why should I but the problem is maintenance how do I maintain the objects so for example you have currently um, three products that need to be created okay In the next uh, feature release you have to uh, create two more objects so you don't have to open the 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 class files you don't have to open all the class files you have to open only one class called factory class with there you can add these two objects that need to be created so it's like um, it's like a structured way of writing the code a discipline is maintained okay so that you can maintain the code for a longer time okay so let's see the other pattern structural patterns adapter bridge composite decorator facade flyweight proxy <coughs> okay composite is like um, a tree iterator it will have an iterator so you have a tree um, and you want for example XML XML objects you have how do I iterate it how do I uh, exactly go to a particular node in an, in an XML uh, tree okay something like that so bridge
adapter uh, matches interfaces of different classes adapter is like uh, uh, you will give only for example two interface two uh, two attributes to the outside world to the client and internally you will have you you will have lot of uh, attributes pr prepared by yourself so adapter is like externally it will be like only one but internally it handles more it 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 function it it, it functionality is more okay <coughs> behavioral pattern mediator moment memento interpreter I iterator command state strategy observer i have explained to you uh, observer template and visitor so uh, i would suggest my suggestion would be go through this all these design patterns and write some examples so that you can have a better understanding let's go to the uh, next interview question what is builder design pattern builder design pattern is similar to the uh, factory but whenever you say you just call the builder construct can you construct this object okay it does some additional not only new or using new operator it creates the object it does something for example you ask can you build a pen for me it 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 prepares a complete pen for you whatever is required to build a pen it will do okay you don't have to worry the director says can you construct a pen Th then you can ask can you can you construct a notepad it will construct and give it to you okay so builder is like it builds something and give it to you a product okay so this is builder design pattern what a singleton pattern as i i have already told you a single class will always have a single instance a class uh, which will have always a single instance in the entire application so for example get class instance is there existing instance already created if it is yes return the existing instance if it is not create and return the, the first time it will be created and the next time it will return the existing instance this is a singleton pattern i am giving a code snippet here um, if the instance equal to null first time and instance equal to new singleton return the single singleton and this is a static variable so only one it will have okay let's see the next question what is decorator pattern in java decorator pattern to simply say it attach additional responsibilities to an object dynamically you want an object window with vertical and horizontal side bar scroll bar sorry window with vertical and horizontal score ball plus border okay so decorator uh, i can give one more uh, example like pizza you take a pizza you will have different toppings you want uh, uh, you don't want onions you, you want only capsicum you want something else some some other vegetables to be added you want a little spicy so decorator pattern is like you have given an object on top of that you can keep on decorate you can keep on uh, add responsibilities to the to the object that you gave okay so it's like it it decorates and in the real world application you have such problems so you can use decorator pattern for that let's see what is factory pattern in java what is the advantage of using static factory method to create object a factory pattern is a creational pattern it is used to instantiate an object from one among a set of classes based on a logic for example um, okay you are for example you want a parser there are three types of parser in your in your class xml parser pdf parser and text parser text pa text file parser so based on the logic you are asking boss can you give me xml parser it goes and it identifies which which class i should instantiate and give the exact exact object so the, the based on the logic the factory class will select the class and it will instantiate and give it to you okay this is factory pattern in java what is the difference between factory and abstract factory in java with the factory pattern you produce implementations like apple banana cherry i'm giving an example here of a particular interface okay like ifruit with the with the abstract factory pattern you produce implementations of a particular factory interface ifruit factory if you can see this example here abstract factory factory one and factory two factory 1 produces directly the products and factory 2 directly products so abstract factory is nothing but a one level at 
one more level um, where it will give one more um, one more uh, factory where you can get the products whereas the factory pattern factory pattern you will directly get the products okay so within abstract factory you will have some more factory you can you can extend and start using it what is observer design pattern observer design pattern in your application if you have a problem like whenever i get a notification i need to start three different tasks how do i do it or four different tasks how do i do it i register i have some observers i register my observers to the subject so whenever the subject gets a notification it will notify me and i will start my process i will start my task and i will complete it register and un registration during the application start i will register it or based on some logic of registry otherwise after registration it will give me a notification this is observer design pattern what is the difference between abstraction and encapsulation in java encapsulation is hiding the implementation implementation details which may or may not be for generic abstraction is pro for providing is providing a generalization focus only on necessary information okay encapsulation is like i don't want to show the implementation details to anyone simple to say setters i have a setters and getters i don't want anyone to access my instance variable from the outside without calling setters and getters i want to hide the implementation whenever someone calls getter method they they, they are not aware of from where i'm reading this value okay and i don't want to expose all my instance variables to the outside world okay so that's where encapsulation comes into picture abstraction is like look at only what is important now what is important and forget about for example create product there is an api called create product there are two parameters that's all it does not know it does not there's not interested in how it is prepared when with what technology are using whether it's read from the database or so that's where abstraction comes into picture what is important so the last question can you write thread safe singleton in java so double checked locking so please remember this term the, the interviewer might be asking you double checked locking so i have a singleton class created here so i have a object i have made it a static okay uh, then i have a method called get instance and inside that i have a synchronous block this is to avoid thread this is to avoid if two threads are accessing it okay um, so for example here this is the instance okay so first time we check the instance is is a th is a non thread safe version of a single turn the following line could be executed and the thread could be immediately swapped as for example the moment it came here okay the first thread came here and it was moved out to the runnable state from running state okay then the second thread came here into the synchronized block okay we have an object we are going to get an object lock lock or this object okay and we are again checking instance equal to null if it is if it is null then create it and return it okay the moment the first thread which is which was smooth to runnable it came here now and again it checks for instance equal to null it is not null because the thread 2 has already created it so it will get the instance 1 so this is double checked locking so please try this code i would suggest try this code try to access through two different th threads and see the difference okay how exactly it goes but this is the uh, essential code that you should remember the interviewer might be asking you to write this code and what is the importance of synchronous block here and why can't we write the synchronous here okay so hope this video is useful for your entry preparation this is top 10 design pattern interview questions that i've collected all the best for your interview this video is from interview.com my job portal thank you